Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Vizio Smart TV and you have an issue with your YouTube app. It doesn't matter. It could be the regular YouTube app or it could be the YouTube TV. Anyways, it's basically not working. Maybe it's uh, frozen. Maybe when you click on it, it comes into a black screen. Or perhaps maybe it's even stuck on the uh, buffering screen or the loading screen. Or it just won't open or load or perhaps you get error message. It doesn't matter. I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. So first thing I want you to do is this, have the TV on, and then wherever it's plugged into, I go ahead and unplug it just like that. Now I want you to go ahead and wait one minute. After one minute is up, I want you to come back and go ahead and plug your TV back in, and then turn the TV back on. Now go ahead to your YouTube app, open it up, and hopefully you're up and running. If not, we're gonna go to the next, next step here. All right, so for the next step here, again, what I want you to do now, again, is have the TV on, put a plug on it just like that. Now walk over to wherever your wireless uh, modem and router is, okay? Now I'm in an office here, I have a wireless modem and a router, it's separate, okay? If you have two several, uh, separate devices, what you wanna do is go ahead and pull the plug, on pull the power on both of these, okay? Pull the power. Now, most of you guys probably only have one unit, just a modem with a router inside of it. If you're at home, just go ahead and unplug the power to that one, okay? Next thing you wanna do is wait five minutes. After five minutes is up, go ahead and plug it back in. Then come back to your TV as well, and we're also gonna go ahead and plug this in, and then we're gonna turn the TV on again. Turn the TV on. Next thing I want you to do now is, you need to wait like one or two minutes because it needs time to connect to your Wi-Fi internet. So wait one or two minutes. After one or two minutes is up, Go back to your YouTube app, open it up, and hopefully you guys are up and running. If not, we're gonna to go to the next step. So for the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a software update to the late, latest version, okay? So go ahead and grab your remote, and I want you to go into settings. What you can simply do is tap on the menu button here. Tap on the menu button. Now you can see what you wanna do is, you're in the settings here and you wanna go down, highlight system, click on enter. First one is highlighted, it says check for updates. Let's go ahead and click OK on the uh, remote and then a pop-up window appears. Do you want to check for updates? We do, so move over to the left to yes and then click on the OK button on the remote here and give this a second. Now it says uh, the TV is up to date on the very top up there. However, if there is a new update for your TV, go ahead and download it Install it after the installation is complete. Go ahead and open up YouTube and hopefully you're back up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step here. So the last and final step I have is to do a factory reset, okay? Don't forget, a factory reset is going to reset the entire TV back to factory de default. So basically, once you're done with the factory reset, it'll be as if you just bought this TV brand new again and took it out of the box and then you got to proceed with your setup. You got to choose your, uh, your country, your region, put in your Wi-Fi password, um, all your other passwords and stuff like that. Okay, anyways, grab your remote, and same thing again, what we wanna do is go into settings, so we're gonna tap on the menu. And then from here, what we're gonna do, again, we're gonna go down, all the way down, highlight where it says system, click on enter. Now this time what we wanna do is we wanna go all the way down to the very bottom where it says reset and admin. So I'm gonna go all the way down, and it says reset and admin right there, click on enter right there and now you can see the first one that's highlighted it says reset the fa uh, factory settings so go ahead and click on enter window pops up here and it says select reset to restore all tv settings to factory defaults it's currently highlighted on cancel you want to move over to the left to highlight reset and go ahead and proceed okay i'm not going to proceed uh, on this tv however once you're done with the factory reset you, again, like I said, you need to put in your um, your region, your language, your Wi-Fi password, and so on. Once everything is up with this with the uh, initial settings, open up YouTube, and hopefully you're back up and running. Okay, this worked for you guys. Let me know uh, which step worked for you. Right.